yes, we're recording now. Get in. Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the GeoGuess of Fun. And no, that's about it. Uh, although, check this out, I've got something to show you. <clears throat> it's one of them. Let's get it in shot. It's a gold play button. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, I guess. No, it's very, it's very cool. What it represents is beyond cool. And I actually can't get my head around it. A million people have actually taken the time to... Oh, a million people. It's just, an, it's just a big number, really. But I'm very grateful. Um, so thank you, everyone who subscribed. I don't know why this is the time that I'm saying thank you to you, but it is. Um, thanks for watching my videos and thanks for subscribing. Simple as that. Anyway, we're doing weather spoons today. I did ponder, huh, as I look at the name Weatherby Pond, I did ponder over whether to do the interesting photospheres in obscure countries thing again. And I will very soon. But tonight we're doing weather spoons. Don't know why, just fancy it. So without any further ado, let's do it. Let's see where we pop out in Britain today. Will it be your town? Last one was really good, wasn't it? I think that's partly why I wanted to do this again so soon. But yeah, let's have fun. Play along. See if we can find some drunken revelers sitting outside the weather spoons today in terrible clobber. I want to see some wretched clothes today. Come on. Right, first one. The Rod the Rodborough buildings. The Rodborough building. Okay. Well, there you go, Guildford. We've got it straight away. This will be an easy one to start off with, but that's okay. Uh, this is obviously, this is such a 2020, oh, it's 2021, but wait, what the hell is going on there? At first glance, it looked like a policeman or a security guard sort of accosting, arresting someone. What's actually going on there, I don't know. And I'm not going to be able to find out until after we play this round, I'll click on the imagery and I'll move down the road and have a look. And that will solve that. But I was going to say, it's such a, such a COVID era imagery. Sunak specials. £1.29 for an IPA in Guildford. Unbelievable. And then all of this, thank you to our amazing NHS. All around, plastered everywhere. There it is, look. Not saying I disagree with that. Not saying I disagree, I agree with it. Um, anyway, we're in Guildford, right? And we can get this one pretty soon and there's no need for me to ramble on. But I am, I'm, this compass is getting some taken used to. I just, I like the visual of the, the red compass. Right, Guildford, near London. Relatively posh place, really. Uh, let's find it, Friary Car Park. We are there. There we are. The Rodborough Buildings. JD Weatherspoon. That is, that is, isn't it? That's a bit of a weird name for a Weatherspoon, but we will put the marker down and we will get that one correct. Moving on. Right, the Wheat Sheaf. That's a classic, classic British name. And we have people. British pub name. Here they are. We've got these two boozers sitting on the end. Rocker Steve and Quizzer Mark there at the end. Can't see what they're drinking. Can't see. That's a shame. And inside there, we've got Gary in the green shirt and his mate Mike meeting up for their usual Weatherspoons breakfast at 11am. Let's look around. I don't know if it's 11am. Where's, where's the sun is... Oh, I'm not used to that. I'm not, I need the compass. Oh, it's going to take some getting used to. Anyway, let's not faff around with the time. Let's keep moving on because we're just being silly. See if we can find out where this town is then. Do I recognise it? Grey Matter Tattoo Studio. Bargain Buys. 
I'm sure I've said this before, but what you'll find in Britain now on your standard British high street is that 80% of the shops are either pubs or Weatherspoons, um, tattoo places, salons, um, charity shops, bargain shops such as Poundland or Bargain Buys, which I've never heard of, vaping shops, betting shops, and takeaways, basically. We do have some exceptions here. We have a news agents and an, what looks to be a privately owned eye care shop. Now that says Stoke Cafe. Stoke Cafe, look at him, look at that bruiser over there with his shirt off. It does look like a hot day, to be fair. What does that say? The, the, the Sentinel, okay, that's not really a giveaway. So we've got Keats Hulm, which again is just names, but it does sound northern, if anything. Um, and Stoke, the Stoke news agent, Stoke shop, and that is just about it. I th oh, wait. What does that say? <clears throat> I can't read that. I cannot read that. It's as simple as that. City Centre, Newcastle, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. Do not know. Wedding Shop, bucking my rules. Yeah, and that is it for clues here. That's it, I believe. Church Street is the only other bit of information I think I'm gonna get. Huh. That's basically our biggest clue there. And the Stoke. What did it say? Stoke. Stoke Cafe. The only thing is this doesn't really look like Stoke, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get in there and it, it might be somewhere around around Stoke. In and around Stoke. So there's Newcastle. Trentham, I'm just looking, yeah, the wheat sheaf. The wheat sheaf might be what we have to find on the map. That might be what we're searching for. Um, okay, I'm going to have a little look around here. I really don't think we're around here, though. Stoke. Stoke is, is what we've got, but it's just, you know what I'm going to say. It's too shit. We can't. Oh my god, it is Stoke. It's not that shit. Who knew? Stoke isn't that shit. No, I think what it is, there's a couple of historic buildings up here that I just... I'm sorry, I just didn't associate them with Stoke. We are in one of the five centres that Stoke has. There's five... It's quite unique in that sense. You've got Hanley, you've got Fenton... That one, Longton, maybe Newcastle's one of them. I don't know. Uh, but we're in just regular old Stoke. And I was wrong. I hold my hands up. It didn't really look like Stoke to me, particularly. But I think I was basing it on those historic looking buildings up there. Not all buildings in Stoke are grey. Old ex-industrial or 60s buildings. I'm sorry. There's my guess. 13 yards. Get in. I'm pleased. Stoke Cafe. Yeah. It made sense. And I think some of you will have got that too. I think you would have done. So well done if you did. Right, next one. No repeats yet on this map. On the sixth time of playing. The Central Bar. A Weatherspoon's free house. Victoria Place. Look at that. We've got a castle over there. Just going to check that we're recording. Yeah. Yep. Um, let's see if I recognize this place. High Street. Bells. Dobbins Inn. I like it when there's no giveaway. I just have to work it out. This feels like it could be on the coast. I think that is the coast over there. 
Yes, we've got boats, okay? Didn't see them, I just saw a blank sky. So on the coast, but in somewhere like Wales, Northern Ireland, maybe. Maybe Scotland, maybe England, but it just reminds me of somewhere like um, Bangor in Northern Ireland or Carnarfon in Wales, or, or Bangor in Wales for that matter. But uh, yeah, Real Ale Festival International, looking for some Welsh language or Irish language that might be in there. No, nope, I'm just going to keep looking then. So, castle. It's got to be a place with a castle. Central bar. And also, what's that? That looks like a bridge to me. Bridge, castle. I'm looking in Canerfon. No, that's not by a bridge, but Bangor is, but the bridge is, no, I think that was, I think I've got a bit too cocky there. Okay, fine, whatever. Right, there's a sign there, but I can't read that because it's quite an old sign and I can't read it. Um, it looks like a nice place. I think we can all agree on that. But am I running out of clues? Stallion, Stallion and Co. Dobbins Hotel. Bell, Belfast? No. Phone number would be good. Or a flag. We've got a Union Jack. Chester. Chester Park. Bernard Campbell. Ah, a phone. O three eight. Oh. O three O. I, I can't even read that. The imagery is not too great, to be honest. Wait a minute. These are weird number plates. G R Z. S E Z. G F Z. H F Z. That's really weird. That's not in line with what I'm used to. I thought that one, I did clock that one, and I thought it was private. That's completely out of line with what I'm used to. I think we're in Northern Ireland. That's where I think we are. And that would make sense because Union Jack, and then that could be, it looks quite white, so that could be a Northern Ireland flag. Right, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Now, North is there. So... Okay, let's bear that in mind too. I think those number plates have to be Northern Ireland because I've never seen that layout of numbers. The numbers are usually in the middle, all right, basically, uh, for those of you who didn't know. Um, so, I'm looking now for places, maybe Antrim, is that castle? There is a castle. Castle Way, Antrim Castle, but what is our pub called? The Central Bar, right. So I don't think we're here because I think we're by the sea rather than on a river. Um, and I can't see our Central Bar. We need it to be like this, Carrick Fergus, on a south coast. So this is a very strong option for me. And there it is. That's exactly where we are. Come on. That's a good one. That's a good one. They're the ones I like, where you've got no giveaway, but just clues. And there it is. We had to be in Northern Ireland because of these, well, partly because of that phone number, but partly, mainly because of that, and the flags, and the way it looked, my hunch. We had to be by a castle. We had to be on the coast. And the coast had to be on the south. There aren't many places that fit that description in Northern Ireland. Right, let's make sure we get this bang on. And there we are. Two more rounds to go and we're on another perfect score. This is great fun. Right, glad I picked this today. Okay, we are, I would say, up north in England. Possibly Scotland. But it's got that vibe. Northern. Chimneys. Look at that chimney. That'll be an old 
cotton mill or something like that. The commercial in we've got there. I didn't have this one before, did I? I don't think I did. It reminds me of one I had before where we had a we had a a kebab shop and a town square. I believe that was on this map the very first time I played it. But I think this is a new one. I think so. Right. Horde and Russell Architects. Cool. Can't read those. Not without straining my eyes anyway. No, I can't read them. Tewell Lane. Now, this could be a giveaway. The Parish Church of Sowerby Bridge. The Church of England. So we're in Northern England. Sowerby Bridge. Now, I have no idea where that is. It's a nice church though. Classic English church. Commercial Inn. Sowerby. Yeah, there it is again. Sowerby Bridge. We're on a canal. Old industrial artery of the country back in the day before the railways were built. Um, we've got these. Rochdale Canal Lock number three. There we go. So it might have taken me a while if it weren't for finding that black sign there. Rochdale. Yeah, because it could have been the whole of Yorkshire or Lancashire. Right, Rochdale. We might not be that near to Rochdale though because it's just the Rochdale Canal. So, Sowerby Bridge. I'm thinking up here somewhere. Is it? Corn Home, Sowerby. Sowerby Bridge. It's actually Yorkshire. It's just the Rochdale Canal. So, there we go. Sowerby Bridge. And the River Calder. The navigation. Come on, what are we doing here? There we are. There we go. I've got it. It was this little branch here. I was picturing something a bit longer. But that goes on to join the river down there. Cool. Okay, we got it. Uh, there is the commercial inn. That took me way longer than it should have done. But we are there. We're a bit away from it. A little bit. Oh, no, not really. There's my fourth guess. Six yards away. Right, let's see where we are in the last one. We need more action. We need more funny scenes. More drunkards. More louts. Come on. Come on, Britain. Oh, how disappointing. The last two, at least, have been ones with where you can't really see inside. You can't be beckoned in by the smell, the aroma of that Ruddles. Sunak specials just luring you in. Um, the classier ones are more like this, more cordoned off, more private. Um, right, but let's figure out where we are. Come on, we can get a perfect score here. I should be happy with that. Turkish Barbers, uh, British League, Wimborne, Wimborne. Wimborne is down south. Yeah, Dorset. County Council. It's near Bournemouth and I think it's where my brother's girlfriend is from. Hello, Elena. The man in the wall. Elena, I want to know if you've got pissed in this pub and just how pissed you got. Tell me next time you see me. I want to hear all about it, but Wimborne is down here. Um, well, there's Wimborne Minster. That'll be it, won't it? We've got the rising sun. The man in the wall. There it is. That'll be it, won't it? I wonder how that got its name. Is there a Nat West? Yes, there is. The man in the wall. Interesting name. Have never heard that pub name before. But we are going to end this video, guys, on a perfect score, hopefully, unless it's bugged. Four yards. There we go. We're going to end it on a perfect score. All of those were gettable. The Northern Irish one was the most interesting one for the reasons that I mentioned. Um, the others were very gettable in the end, weren't they? Stoke had me thinking. 
and had me offending the whole town of Stoke again. City of Stoke, sorry. Um, Guildford was easy and Wimborne was easy. So that concludes this week's video pretty promptly, guys. But um, do not fear because the next video, well, the missions are, are coming quite soon. But before that will be another interesting photospheres in obscure countries, which ain't so easy. That'll be very, very tricky. So do tune into that. Thanks for watching this one. And be patient. The mission is coming and it's going to be class. Thanks again. See you soon. Take care.